A good friend just brought me a VNAN SSD to install into his PlayStation 5, so let's do it. All right, so here it is. It's pretty tiny. Whoa! Now we need to unscrew this right here. And Sony gave you the screw to keep it tight, to, and we need to install it right there. All right, so we have it in here, and we screwed it down. All right, let's test this thing. All right, we connected it. Let's power it on. Nice. For repairing the story. All right, well, I never knew about this. You can't use this SSD because it doesn't meet this requirement. So don't be like my customer and buying just a, a regular one. I didn't do any research on this. I just plugged it in. So after a little bit of research, um, here are the SSDs that are compatible with the PlayStation uh, 5. You got the uh, Cybern Rocket, the Samsung 980, the Silicon Power US 70, the Gigabyte Urus, and uh, the list goes on. So just Google list of generation 4 M2 SSD and click on the faceofit.com link. Okay, so we went back to Best Buy and we got the uh, 980 Pro, the one terabyte. Hopefully this works. All right, it's exactly the same thing. Let's put it on. It's installed, let's power it up. All right, so it sees it now, we need to format it. Right, so we choose format and it's formatting. It's giving us some information here. The read speed is at six gigs. Right, so you go to your settings and storage and then you'd have to set your PlayStation 5 games and apps to the M2 SSD storage. And that's it, you're done.